In this video, we are going to create Sadosh card recovery. Okay, so from you, we are going to create our new keys. Uh, in this video, I am going to use Aspen Heights version 12. And this now, uh, this is our simulation uh, here. This time, I'm not going to start with a component list. I'm going to add a fluid package. As I mentioned before, we are going to work with Sulfur Recovery Unit or SRU. It has its own fluid package built in in Aspen Heights. So instead of adding the component list, this time I'm going to add a fluid package. So I'm going to press add and here we, I'm going to look for SRU or Sulfur Recovery. Okay, so I am keep looking down SRU or Sulfur Recovery. Salsim is sulfur simulation. After pressing it, these are the required components. Okay, you will find out that in the component list, these components are automatically generated, so you don't need to add them. Okay, so Hysis create a component list with a full set of the required components after selecting Salsim or, or which stands for sulfur simulation or sulfur recovery unit. So now we are okay, we can go to our simulation environment. Uh, first, we need to check the, the component list. It has the components that we are talking about. Here you will find that hydrogen, argon, oxygen, nitrogen, methane, carbon monoxide, or dioxide, and so on. Okay, it also created some sulfur uh, vapor. So this is sulfur in the vapor form, and also sulfur liquid, because as I mentioned before, we are going to create sulfur in a vapor form, and also after being condensed, we will have or taking heat from it, it will be in a liquid form. Okay, so we are done with the component list and the flow package, so now we can enter the simulation. After entering the simulation, a sulfur recovery unit will be created automatically, okay? So, this it will be also as a sub flow sheet this is not a mean uh, a mean flow uh, flow sheet this is a sub flow sheet okay and it's automatically added you can read from another template you can start a blank as this is our case because we don't know anything about sulfur unit before so we are going to start with a blank flow sheet after cho choosing a blank flow sheet it this sulfur unit will be open Okay, and we will enter directly the, the sub flow sheet. Okay, so this is our unit here. You can enter it from going to the flow sheet and enter the flow sheet. Okay, if we want to go out, we go to. Okay, so if we want to reverse what happened, here we are inside it. It's empty. We haven't created any, uh, anything yet. Okay, so to return it back, you press here from the flow sheet, you go to the parent. The parent is the unit itself. Okay, so here again we are going to enter our flow sheet. As the sub flow sheet here, you will find something different. Okay, if we press F4 to get our modded palette, you will have a specified palette created for SRU unit. Um, in this case, this is a, this is a sulfur recovery unit palette. Okay, designed especially for it. In this case, we are going to create our material stream from here. So this is our material stream and we are going to add it here. The first stream that we have is our acid gas. Okay, so this is our acid gas. This is the one that we are going to remove um, uh, sulfur dioxide or any sulfur compound from it. Okay, we have also some conditions like the temperature is 35 degrees Celsius and also we have a pressure of 170.3 uh, kilopascal. For the molar flow rate, we have 100 kilogram mole per hour. So this is 100 kilogram mole per hour. And also we are given the composition. You are given that the composition of first thing, carbon dioxide, so this is carbon dioxide is 0.242 after pressing ok we will have this page and we will have also this is a mole fraction the second mole fraction that we have is for hydrogen sulfide and it's high it's 0.75 ok so 75 percent of the moles inside this uh, acid stream is mainly um, h2s for methane it's Methane, we are going to look for methane here. Methane, 
to this one. It's 0 0.0005. No, it's two O's only and five. Okay. And for ethane, it's ethane OC2H6. It's 0 0.002. And finally, we have a propane of one. Uh, okay, 0 0.001 propane. 0.001 it's the total would be one okay if we press okay we have full composition and also our material stream is is fully uh, defined okay another stream that we have is the air to the furnace as i mentioned before do we have two stages the first stage is the thermal uh, process and we have air which is going to burn uh, hydrogen sulfide in this case, we are going to add another material stream from here. This is another material stream. And this stream will be the air that we are going to fit to the furnace. Okay, so air to furnace, air to furnace, furnace. Okay, and we have the temperature to be 50 degree Fahrenheit, uh, 50 Celsius. Okay, uh, if you want uh, the information in Fahrenheit, it's 122. But let's keep going with the same conditions for the um, uh, pressure it's 170 170.3 kilopascal okay so in this case we need to choose kilopascal kilopascal okay in for kilopascal you know that you are entering the right composition by going near it okay i think we need to check uh, also for the um, the other stream, but we'll go back to it. We have also the molar flow rate to be one hundred eighty six point eight, and for um, the composition we need now to enter the composition. So this is mainly air. So it will be nitrogen. So where is nitrogen? Nitrogen is here, and it's zero point seven eight zero nine, and also oxygen. This is the the oxidizing agent that we are going to use to oxidize or for the combustion reaction, and it's 0 0.0295. And we have also argon. Argon is an inert gas. It re it doesn't react. 0 0.0093. And for we also have a traces of carbon dioxide. So it's 0 0.003. Okay. So now we have something missing here that because the total composition isn't equal to one. Uh, let me double check. I think here we are missing a three. By nine, nine, after nine we have answer three. And okay, after writing it, it, uh, it changes. 0 0.00093 into, okay, it changes the um, 0 0.78. 9 and 0 0.2 point okay. I think there is something 0 0.095 and finally for carbon dioxide we have 0 point okay in this case we press normalize okay so it normalized to the total equal to one okay because I don't know exactly where is the problem is the numbers are right now we have our own uh, fluid package so now we need to go back again I mentioned that we are going to, to enter here to check that we have this unit in kilopascal but it is not okay so here we are going to enter 170 and we are going to change the unit to be kilopascal okay so now we have those two streams defined so it's time to start our first stage which is the thermal stage the first step in the sulfur recovery, as we mentioned before, is the thermal stage, and about 60 or 70 percent of the sulfur is produced in this stage. So this is a huge amount, actually. Uh, this happened after the partial oxidation that happened in the furnace. So we are the first thing that we need to add is the reaction furnace. So if you look here, this is the first one. This is your reaction furnace. We are going to add it here. This is your furnace. Okay, and double click. After a double click, we can open it. 
like this okay it's open here this is our furnace 100 we are going to keep it as it is it's a single chamber you can also have a two chambers but in this case we are going to use a single chamber the inlet here that we are going to burn is the acid gas and your air stream we have already defined it before the outlet outlet gas this uh, we are going to call it the furnace furnace stream or outlet okay so it's a furnace outlet okay after pressing enter you will have it's ready and fully red okay so now you have your furnace here you uh, the partial oxidation happens okay so you can take this one here so the air is acid gas enter here and it burns inside so here you will find that the composition will have different components okay rather than the ones that you enter as a beginning we haven't entered any composition for hydrogen but now you have hydrogen composition the now you have a monox carbon monoxide and so on because here you have enter um, partial oxidation reaction uh, for the thermal step it consists also with uh, from um, three uh, parts the reaction furnace the waste heat exchanger or the uh, waste heat exchanger and the sulfur condenser okay we have added already the sulfur uh, outlet or the sulfur furnace now it's time to add uh, the second part which which is the part that we have waste heat exchanger here you you will look for the waste heat exchanger this one is a waste heat exchanger okay this is called this is actually a part that is designed especially for sru that's why the names will be um, helping so this one this is a furnace reaction this one this is the waste heat exchanger okay and the waste heat exchanger here is placed after the reaction furnace why because it causes the hot gas here the furnace outlet or the hot hot gas produced from this furnace okay and also in this uh, with the heat um, with the heat exchanger you will produce some liquid sulfur because we mentioned before that in the best case we have 70 percent conversion of sulfur here so double click here and we will have our whe 100 this is we have the inlet here this is the furnace outlet and we have two outlets in this case we have whe liquid sulfur outlet whe sulfur liquid outlet okay and for we have also an i guess i guess this is produced which would be whe outlet gas outlet let gas okay so we have created the streams and connected it and also it's it's required to add an energy stream so we add here whe whe energy because here we are going to have only one of this if you are asked to add a delta b because it is not defined so we are going here to specify some um, uh, parameters so parameters so we go to parameters here you are giving that the delta t uh, in this case we are not giving the outlet t okay this is the outlet temperature which means you are going to cool down and the exit temperature will be 300 degrees Celsius. okay after entering it it will it will be completely converged okay so before we have a temperature of 1000 okay it's written here 1195 degrees Celsius you are going to cool this temperature to equal 300 degrees Celsius okay we have here this is our energy stream and this is the sulfuric liquid okay if we open this one and we go here for the composition we are going to find that the sulfur liquid composition is one which means this is stream all of it will be consisting of sulfur on okay so now it's time after that we have a furnace we have whe the last thing that we need is to add a condenser 